Finally, Apple has blessed us with the long-awaited iOS 17 update. But as a bunch of you are having this error where it shows unable to check for updates, unable to download or install, and for some people it's stuck on update requested, or you can't see any download progress. So let's fix these issues together and get iOS 17 installed on your iPhone. We are using iPhone 14 Pro Max for this video, but this will work on any other iPhone that's iOS 17 compatible. Firstly, if the update progress says it's paused or something like that, then the first thing you need to check is your battery. Because if your iPhone's charge is below 50%, the update will be paused or it may fail midway. So charge up your phone and attempt the update again. If you're still facing the same issue, ensure that you have enough storage for the firmware update. It's always recommended that you have a bit more space than the update size. After you have checked the storage, it's better if we force restart our iPhone first. First we will tap the volume up button and then volume down button. Then we will hold down the power button until you see the Apple logo. After your phone restarts, check for update again and this time it should work. If this didn't fix it, then there's a high chance that the update's not installing for some network issues. So check your internet speed. If you see it's slow or unstable, you can try turning the airplane mode on and off and see if that helps. Also make sure that you don't have Wi-Fi and cellular data turned on at the same time. If that's the case, then turn off cellular data and try the update again. Additionally, if your iPhone is on lockdown mode, then it may interfere with system updates. To turn off lockdown mode, we will go to settings, and then privacy and security. Now if we scroll all the way down, we'll find lockdown mode. If it says it's turned on, then tap on it to open it, and then select turn off lockdown mode then turn off and restart. If you have passcode enabled, enter your passcode. After that, your phone will restart and lockdown mode will be turned off. Then try updating your phone again. The issues you are having should be fixed by now. But unfortunately, if the issue persists, you can download the Apple support app from the App Store. After it's downloaded, open the app and then under my devices, tap on iPhone then go to update, backup and restore. Then you will see an option called tell us what's happening. Tap on that, then write the issue you're having briefly and hopefully Apple will get back to you with a solution. If that didn't work out for you, you can use a Mac to update your iPhone. Just connect your iPhone to your Mac, then open the finder and there you'll see the update option. This way, you should be able to update your iPhone without any issues. Let us know which process solve it for you to help everyone out. And make sure to subscribe to support our work. And I'll see you around.